welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Allie and I like to make videos just about my life and about life with cystic fibrosis so if you're not already please subscribe I'd love to have you here all right so if you can't tell by the title of this video I got a new car I bought a, a car I bought myself a car that is insane that is wild and I'm gonna show you the car I love my car so much but before I show you the car I'm just going to explain to you a little bit about my car shopping buying process and what I went through to get this car so this car can be a little bit hard to get especially the trim level and packages I wanted because this is a very popular car and you know there are supply chain issues so I went to my local dealership and when I was ready I told I told them what I wanted and they're like all right we'll, we'll put you down for this but we don't get a lot of those vehicles in that trim that you wanted because um, the make I'll just tell you Toyota they stopped doing like custom factory orders like around when the pandemic started because of like supply chain issues and all that stuff happening so that stopped so they're just like all right we'll we'll give you a call when one comes in and see if you'll take that one i'm like i want what i want i wouldn't why would i compromise although i almost did a couple times just gonna say it straight up but it's like, why would I compromise when I'm spending this much on a car? So, talked to another dealership. They were like, oh yeah, we will search like the entire country to see if we can find one that you want. With, with everything that you want and the colors and everything. Um, they didn't, they did not. Or like when I found some and called to see if they're available, they're like, yes, but they don't want to trade it with us because they want to sell their own they want to sell their own vehicles so it's like then then why are we going through this what why are you searching if you're going to say no so i took it upon myself to go online search up a map of the united states and then search for every single toyota dealer in each state and search every single dealer's website to find the car I want. And after a long while, I found a car. So my car came from Rock Springs Honda Toyota and I had it shipped over here to me where I live. I don't reveal where I live, obviously. So that's a little bit of my process so I think it's time to go and show you my car. Let's go. All right, this is my new car. It is a 2023 Toyota RAV4 Limited all week. color is called blueprint it's a really nice I don't know if you can tell how it looks in the camera but originally I wanted white but then my second choice color was gray but then I was leaning away from gray and then I found the blueprint I'm like yes because that's actually the one I originally wanted then I wanted white then I wanted gray and now we're back to blue blueprint which I love it's amazing so some of my favorite exterior features, I just love the look of the back. Like the chrome and then I was able to get a sparkly license plate cover to match. I love that. And it just looks so cool. So I also really like the chrome door handles. These are the only, chrome is the only one you can get the 
Limited is the only trim level you can get the chrome handles with. And those look really nice. I like to look at the tires. It just, it just looks like an amazing car. It, it is an amazing car. Yes, I know it is a little bit dirty, but I don't want to take it through a car wash that much, but I also am not good at washing it because I keep getting like water spots on it and stuff. But yeah, all right. Let me take you on a tour of the inside of the car. Hold on, before we get inside the car, I gotta show you the remote start. So, I have my key fob here, and then I also have the Toyota Connected Services app, because it came with a year free trial. So, I can start it, lock it, unlock it, see maintenance things all from my phone, so that's great. Or, if I don't wanna do it on my phone, I have my key fob. So, here we go, we're gonna hit lock, lock, and then hold the third time. Boom! And she started. All right, let's get in and check her out. All right, welcome to the inside of my car. So, if you can see, I have the black interior, which is what I wanted. I don't really like the look of the two tones, it's just like, not what I like. So I wanted black, so I got black. And then there's like little brown accents everywhere, like if you take a look here, it's like on this little ledge, I have some brown, if you can tell it's brown. Yeah, a little bit. And then also, down here by the phone charger. And then over on this little shelf, accents of brown. So, that's the interior color. So now I'm just gonna show you some of my favorite features about the inside. So, first when you get in, you're greeted with a 12.3 inch, I believe, digital display that shows your miles per hour, it can sh show your fuel economy, your music. I just have it set to this one. Here you can see is the tire pressure, my miles per hour, and then miles per hour, and then uh, directions. So like north, south, east, west compass. That's what it's called. <laughs> All right, and then if you look over at the door panel, we have memory seats. So this one's to set them. I have number one, and then for number two, well, I just did a random setting. So it just pushes you back and tilts you back a little bit. But I drive with number one. So there's that. And then just down here, it's just the basic window controls lock and unlock and then the outside mirror controls and then if you take a look in the center you have this I believe it's 10.8 inch multimedia screen I absolutely love this so let's look ah, Toyota so this I shouldn't show you that So this is vehicle information, a phone, music, for music I'm listening to, my settings, and then this has wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. So I have Apple CarPlay. So there it is. So this just has my apps, Google Maps, Apple Maps, Spotify, Messages. I use Spotify for all my music, so I don't really use the radio that much, but that is that. Got your hazard button. And then if you look down here, I decided to bling out the push to start and then the AC knobs. So I just got these 
sparkle knob covers on Amazon. They were specifically made for Toyota RAV4, so they fit perfectly. And then down here, I have heated and ventilated seats. So if you press the red, that's heated. Blue is ventilated. Three different settings for each. And then down here, you have the wireless charging pad. There's just a power button for it. Because you can see my phone is in fact charging right now. And then down here, you have the shift knob. And then parking brake. You have different modes. So there's eco, normal, and sport. And the drive trains for like mud and sand, rock and dirt, and then for normal. And then you have a snow mode. And then down here, these are just cup holders. You don't have my water bottle. But under it, I put these little sparkly car coasters. So that's fun. And then if you want to look at the Santa console, pretty big. So we got this little tray here. So it just pretty much has tissues, sun sanitizer, sunglasses, wet wipes, and then this little pouch has stuff like hairbrush, hair ties, lotion, a EOS lip egg thing. And then there are two little USB-C chargers in there. But yeah, that is that. And then if you want to peek my glove box real quick. So here I have, this thing is my registration and insurance and like a few extra dollars in cash. Under here there's some more coasters and I have this has like more of the tape and another part for the push to start button sparkle thing and then you have the a cleaning gel so it's supposed to get like all the dust off I haven't used it yet but I have it and then I didn't show you the little buttons down here. So these buttons, this is a little thing that changes the brightness of your little display here, big display. So dims and brightens. This is my auto lights, my heated windshield wipers. I will show you this in a second. This one is for the heated steering wheel, for if it's cold outside. The auto trip, and then the trunk button. So, those are those buttons. But now, I'm gonna show you a fun thing that the screen can do. I love it, it has helped me so much. So, we're just gonna look at the screen, and I'm going to shift it into reverse. I have a 360 camera, which is amazing and it's helped me with my parking so much. So that's one of my absolute favorite things about this. So, and then above it, you see, so this is my rear view camera, but then if you pull this little tab forward, it becomes a camera. So if I have a trunk full of stuff, I can still see out the back window. And it's just a really cool feature to have. A little freaky at first, but it, it is amazing. And then if you look up here, this is where I have extra sunglasses. Those are the ones I use most often. You have the light controls on here. Emergency button. And then these buttons 
are for the panoramic glass roof. I love this roof so much. This is one of the things I really wanted in the car. So, if you do this one, if you just pull it forward, it closes it up. So, if you don't want it open, you don't have to. And then do it the other way. Oh. It opens right back up. And then if you do this one, and then, then this opens. It only opens that much, but it is amazing. So I drive with this open all the time. Whoop. All right, so I believe that is all to show you in the front seat. Let's show you the back seat. All right, this is the back seat of my car. All right. Oh. Whoever sits behind me gets so much leg room because I'm really short. So, congratulations to people who sit behind me. <sighs> All right, so this is the back of my car. So, not too much back here, but if you look at the door panel, you see you do get your window control. Oh, I think I have child lock on. Oops. And then you have heated seats back here. So you hit that button the seat will heat up. It has that for both sides, but not the middle. Sorry who sits in the middle. I tried. But the middle does have the center armrest with cup holders, so that's nice. And then, ooh, put this back. And then just down here, you have the USB-C chargers. So. That's pretty much it for the back seat. Not too much, but it is nice to have heated seats back here for winter time. So, yeah. Let's get into the trunk. Welcome to the trunk of my car. <laughs> so, this is the trunk of my car. Uh, I have a little cover. I want to cover with whatever I put in here. So, I have this big thing. You're probably wondering what this is. So, this is all the stuff I think I could possibly ever possibly need when I'm in my car. So, in here. This one is like my medical bag. So it just has like a glucose meter, dressing change stuff for my G-tube. So you have a blanket for it's cold, we get stranded or there, or I want like a picnic or something or just sit on the grass somewhere. You have that. Let's see, and then these are just gloves. They're like winter technology gloves, but I'd honestly you'd like use them like if I was like changing a tire or something. But speaking of tire, there is a donut tire under here with the jack and all that. Let's see, and then I also have a first aid kit. Should be in every car. I have my temporary license plate from when I got the car. I have a rain jacket and an umbrella. I also have ooh, an apple juice for low blood sugar low, low blood sugar emergency. I have some little tissue packs. This is all I have one of my center consoles, so here's just like some refills. And I have a extra G2 button. 
for like if something ever happened with this one while I'm away with my car. And then last thing is a tire inflator pump. I have had like so many like low tire pressure experiences and like nail and tire. So I'm just like, I'm just gonna get this because I have had plenty of tire issues. So those are just back here. Oh, and back here, this is a snow scraper and brush, extendable, because I'm short. And then this is a cargo net, which I just haven't put up. So that's just tucked back here. So that is pretty much the tour of my car. So, put all this back in here. Boom. And then there's a lid just to close it up so no one has to be snooping what's in my car. So, that is my car. And that is the tour. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, turn on post notifications for whenever I post a new video, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!